Legacy means to build a foundation for the future to stand on. A ceiling belonging to the generation that came before, designed to be a floor on which the next one builds on. We not only want to build the here and now, but establish fertile ground for the future. That's what we're committed to here. A legacy worth building on. The ministry at Eastside has changed uh, so much since we first started. In uh, 2012 or 2013, uh, I can remember a time where um, we, we didn't know whether we were going to be able to meet salaries in a week. We, we had $300 in the bank. We didn't have any insurance. At that same time uh, is the time that I had a heart attack. I had my first heart attack but God met every need that we had. We began to watch God move and that seemed to be a crossroads for us. It was a crossroads whether we were really going to believe God or whether we were going to uh, run. We started by standing on His Word and His promises and we stood there until we saw God move. And that was the foundation that Eastside was built on. Stephen Vulo had a, had a word for us. This is what Liz's interpretation was. My name is El Roy, the God who sees. I see where you've been. I see where you are. I see where I am taking you. I see the intent of the thoughts of your heart. Obedience is pleasing to me. Only consider your ways and follow me. I am the living, breathing word revealing all truth. So trust me, follow me, I see where I am taking you. The truth of the matter is this, without the sacrifices of David, without his obedience, without his intentionality, Solomon's wouldn't happen. And, and what I found is, is that when you have a group of people that truly want to please the Lord, uh, you're going to find that, that God's mercy and God's grace is enough. And uh, you just see a group of people that have radically been transformed by the power and the grace of God. I am so proud of our staff and our leaders and our elders and our trustees as they pursue God uh, to watch uh, how God's grace uh, does what he said he was going to do, and that is he sets the captive free. He heals the brokenhearted. What's next? Well, we want to return to a single service on Sunday mornings. The building is going to stay the same size, but at least when you come in, you know, it'll, it'll seat 507 versus 180. We won't have the balconies. We'll have a raised stage. And so we're moving into the second phase. The f second phase is what we're in now, and what we're trying to raise money for, and that would be great upgraded children's and youth facilities. That's gonna be amazing. Our kitchen area and to be able to serve and do banquet type settings is gonna be great. Our multimedia uh, is gonna be second to none. We're going to uh, bring the best that's available to us at Eastside. We're gonna keep everything the same as far as uh, just an attitude of worship and a focus on prayer. But we believe the Lord asks us to do things with excellence. All those things can be done for just $400,000. Very attainable goal for us to, to raise $400,000. I'm excited about what God's going to do. I'm excited about the fact that he's, he's using this generation to establish a foundation of worship and, and the word uh, that, that's taking that to another generation that is setting up the next generation for success. If we want an uncommon return, then we've got to make an uncommon investment. And I just, I just really believe that the Lord in this coming year is going to teach us that he, he owns it all. And so I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about this is that what we're doing currently is, is establishing and creating an atmosphere that looks more like what we're trying to emulate in our community. And we're doing that to, with the next generation, teaching them how, how to worship and pray. But at the same time, we're, we're setting them up for success and victory in the future.